Hi, Lopes Insider Paul Coro here with Bryce Drew, the new men's basketball head coach at GCU on his first day. Uh, we're here in Nashville. How does it feel to have this job now? Super excited. So I wish I could be in Phoenix celebrating with everyone down there. Um, but obviously, you coming here has been spectacular. Um, my wife and I had the opportunity to visit Phoenix briefly over the weekend and spending time with President Mueller, Jerry Colangelo, Jamie Boggs uh, just blew us away. Uh, their commitment um, to the mission of, of their Christian faith and living it out on campus and also their commitment to athletics. And we just feel extremely privileged to, to be able to be part of the GCU family. You said you talked about having a, a checklist of things that you were looking for in a job and that this one you could sort of go through the list. What were the highest ones that GCU checked for you? You know, I, I think the, the ultimate highest was the Christian faith and being able to, 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 to live out and speak about, you know, our Christian faith. I, I love the vibrant Christian environment um, that we felt on campus and, and that has extended into the community, you know, around the university. Uh, the second would be, you know, the commitment to you know, basketball, uh, to be able to want the program to be successful and do what it takes to, to get it to, you know, those next steps. And then, you know, the third part is just the, the, the whole feeling. It, it's such a, a school on the rise and, and the vision, you know, that President Mueller has to, to take Grand Canyon University even further than, than what he's done, which is simply amazing, um, again, is pretty incredible. And my wife and I both thought the same thing. Basketball-wise, you've, you've talked about already, you want to win championships. Yeah, what's, what's the path to that at GCU? You know, I was very blessed uh, when I was at Valparaiso. We won six championships, and I've been able to take two different programs to the NCAA tournament in Valparaiso and Vanderbilt. And I would love to be able to, you know, get Grand Canyon to that first NCAA tournament. I, I know the impact because I've lived it. I felt it. Um, when that community gets the opportunity to have their names called on Selection Sunday, it's such an unbelievable feeling for the whole campus and community. And, um, and, and that's, that's our goal. We want to be able to get Grand Canyon to get into that NCAA tournament. What do you think about the players you're inheriting, the, the signees you're inheriting, and what you want to do in recruiting? You know, everything has moved so quickly. I haven't had a great chance to dive into the roster as much as you know I would like, but I'll be doing that you know as soon as we're done with all this. I'll, I'll be diving in and um, and doing all that. But um, I know Dan has done a fantastic job bringing in some very quality players, and um, he's done a tremendous job winning games and building a foundation of a great program. So um, extremely excited to to talk to the players, meet the players, and um, and hopefully be able to coach them next year. Are you ready for this behind you? I can't wait for this. So <laughs> I've heard so much about the Havocs and how awesome they are. And uh, to be part of it is going to be special, I know. But I, I, until I can be there myself personally and experience it, um, you know, I'm going to take everyone's word that it is the best student body in the country. And we want to make sure we keep it that way. What uh, Playing-wise, uh, you've had different types of teams that – both Valpo and Vandy. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you have a preference for like the style of team? What what you like to see on the court for yourself and fans? You know the 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 first part is we want to defend, and so three of the last five years I've had um, coached top fifty defenses, and so that's our first thing we're going to want to be able to defend so we can suffer through some bad shooting nights and, and still hopefully win some games. So defensively, something we want to do. Um, two of the last three years uh, I've been blessed to have. Uh, two top 50 offenses with totally, you know, some different teams and different personnel. So as, as we look at the team and the personnel, obviously we'll, we'll center things around our players, what they can be successful at right now. But um, as a coach, my job is I want to put our players in a position to, to succeed, and that'll be with our scheming to put them in positions that they'll be able to succeed. You come from a coaching family. Your father's in the College Basketball Hall of Fame, put Valpo on the map, your older brother, took over there for a bit and then moved on and has put Baylor in the national top five. What, what do you draw from them and their experiences? You know, they're great mentors for me. Um, we're all different personalities and we coach a little bit different, but the blueprint and the fabric of, you know, putting God at the center of our program and, and you know, how we treat, you know, our, our, our players are, are part of our family. Um, you know, we all hold those same values. And it's incredible to have, you know, my brother who's still in the profession and has been at Baylor, 
you know, 17 years and number one in the country for five weeks, you know, that I can just pick up and, and call and, and ask questions if I need to, or, or we can talk about trends going on in the game and, and how to try to get ahead of the curve, you know, on certain things. So um, their mentorship has been, you know, phenomenal for me as a person, but then also as a coach, they're great resources. You got to spend some time on campus uh, as you talked about this job. What were your first impressions of the campus and the athletic facilities? Uh, extremely beautiful. Uh, the facilities are, are, are incredible. I mean, the soccer stadium, the baseball facility, um, all the intramural fields, you know, throughout campus. Um, it's such a, a high energy uh, campus, it seems like. And I can't wait for all the students to be there and just feel that energy, um, you know, walking around. It's been 22 years since the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and this time of year, you get talking about it every year. Is, is it nice to <laughs> spend March Madness talking about something else exciting in your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we, we don't use the 22. We just say it was a couple years ago. Because <laughs> when you say that, it's, it's just mind-boggling to think that it was actually that long ago. But um, it, was, it was such a, a special moment because it, it wasn't just myself, but, you know, obviously my dad was coaching. My brother was an assistant. Um, we had six seniors on the team that had never won a game in the NCAA tournament. It was our first win, and, and it just kind of brought the whole community uh, together as a whole, our whole city. So, you know, being, being part of that are lasting memories, you know, that I'll always have. All right. Well, GCU is excited to have you, and we'll look forward to seeing the product come October. Can't wait. <laughs> We're going to lopes up. <laughs>